Well, another stop on the Laturda plants is Dancing Oaks, and I'm with Leonard. And Leonard, it's so much fun to come here, and it's a great place to celebrate fall because you have so many interesting plants that are great for fall color and for, for fall interest. Right, Judy, there's uh, so many wonderful things that are blooming this time of year. Uh, it's almost like a uh, second spring in the garden. That's we get true. some rain and things freshen up. Uh, there's more obvious summer color and fall color is the uh, sunflowers, <laughs> but a more unusual plant, a nice shrub in the uh, Verbenia family, oh. is Vitex agnus castus, or the chase tree. It's uh, very drought tolerant, lovely blue flowers, uh, fragrant, almost pungent foliage, which makes it deer proof. Nice. And um, a small tree, large shrub, about uh, 10 to 12 feet tall, and kind of a rounded crown to it. Well, it's so pretty, you know, it's, since we um, need some color in the late fall, it's so nice to have a blue, which sometimes you don't see all the time. So it's really something stunning for a fall landscape. It's beautiful and it um, gives you the same effect. It's like the butterfly bush, but no, no invasive tendencies at all and ah. very low, low maintenance plant. Well, I know you have some other beautiful things to show us. Let's go over there too. Great. Let's take a look. Leonard, we took a really wonderful stroll through the display gardens here and I saw this pink flower. What was that one? Oh, Judy, that was a type of salvia. Mm. Uh, that particular one is salvia involucrata, which is about four to five feet tall, very uh, fuzzy pink flowers. Looks very tropical, like it wouldn't be hardy here, but that one has uh, sailed through many winters uh, just fine. Oh, wow, and it is so striking at this time of year, too. It's just a really nice backdrop. I mean, I don't mind having a big plant like that if it's really striking. Right, it gets a really great sort of a hot pink uh, punctuation to the border. Yeah, and this one is very lovely. This orange is just beautiful, especially this time of year. Right, this is a uh, California fuchsia. Uh, botanical name is Zauschneria. And there are several cultivars, a uh, couple species of it. This particular one is called Bowman. Um, they are all uh, fall blooming hummingbird magnets. Oh, sure. Uh, very popular with the hummingbirds. And they love a spot that is uh, full sun, very drought tolerant. Uh, Bowman and some uh, related to it are more clump forming, where some of the other types are rhizomatous and spread, uh, can make a, a ground cover in a large area. Oh, wow, but it is so pretty, and I think we're always looking for new plants, and Latorta plants is a great time of year to go touring around garden centers and going to find really interesting things, which you have here. Right, there's so many wonderful things happening during this uh, Latour at a, at a lot of nurseries, and at our place here, we have a 20% uh, uh, coupon off of all plants during that time. We have tea and cookies every day during the Latour. Uh, we have a talk on Thursday, about uh, drought tolerant plants, Ooh, nice. fall blooming plants, some, some of what we've looked at here today. And uh, also we have a talk on Saturday about working with color in the garden. Oh, really helpful. Well, you can go to any of the um, websites we talked about today, Latorta Plants, Dancing Oaks, Garden Time, and find out all the participating garden centers. Pick up one of these flyers so you have all this information. And even after Latorta Plants, you have some events coming up. Right, we have a, a leaf casting class, concrete leaf casting and uh, which are they're very popular and we still have some openings in that class which is uh, September 26th. Ah, so always something going on out at Dancing Oaks. Well thank you so much right. for having us out today. Oh thanks so much.